Hello everybody and welcome to the Silver and Under Tournament, hosted by the Pro Brusher. And the 12 o'clock position we have Easy Sai and the Blue Terran versus Vic, the Yellow Protoss, in the final match. Who will be the champion of the Silver and Under Tournament? So let's get to it. Let's take a look at the APMs. Vic with 89. Very, very high for your average silver player. He gets his pylon a little bit an interesting spot in the middle of his base. Setting that scout out as always. And the Terran player, gonna do a wall in like always. Not like we've seen that before. No. Right here, what he's doing here, grabbing the pot, grabbing the watchtower, is to notice if the opponent's SCV crosses between, gets in there, so he can have a better sense on where his base is. So I suggest you incorporate that into your next game if you're playing more than playing a four base map. Use those watchtowers. As we see, they both scout in the wrong position, and yeah, they both scout in the wrong position. Terran player is getting some SCVs, building that barracks. Protoss player doing a gateway. Looks all standard so far. This first player is getting his gas. First player grabs the other tower, catches this SCV going to his base. And I don't know why he chose to scout this. Oh well, yeah, I, I I see now. He thinks it came from here, but it didn't. So now, we have the Terran player getting a scout in the base, sees everything that's happening, Chrono boosting the probes, check out the income tab, exactly even, Terran player is getting a two racks, possibly early aggression, and he has stopped making SCVs for some reason, possibly saving up for the orbital. Nope. Right here, the pros player doing the at usual probe harass. And Terran players always send down that second SCV. I don't think it was necessary. So you get a build with it. Here comes the first Marine, shoots off the probe, and we're going back to the pros player's base. Getting that cyber core, the two pylons. Still nothing out of the ordinary. The Marine is chasing the probe back to the base. Terran player is getting three racks. He's going to be very aggressive, it looks like. Getting his first gas. He really should have an orbital by now. Let's see, what supply is he? If you're Terran, you really want your orbital, like, right now. But let's get back to Protoss. Protoss is getting a second gateway. It looks like the Protoss player is going to repeat what he did in the semis. Let's go for... To go for an early stock or harass on the Terran player. Let's see if he does it. There, now he's getting the orbital command. That should, he should have got that sooner. Right now he's producing marines, focusing on an early army. You always want to get a good chunk of marines before you start adding your tech labs and your reactors. Four is a good number before you start doing that. So this Terran player is doing good on that. He's getting his second gas, calls down his mule, very good. If you're Terran, you want to call down mules. Your first energy, put a mule down. Protoss player is doing exactly what I said, getting two stalkers, Corona boosting, changing the rally point. He's grabbing the watchtower, taking up Terrans. As you see, he also has this watchtower. And the two stalkers are going to come in here and try to do some harassing. Terran player has enough marines to handle this. As we see, the Protoss player walked around the edge of the cliff so that his stalkers didn't get picked off. Now he's sending them to the watchtower. Four stalkers. Now, Terran player has... He's getting good mix of marauders and marines. Good mix, good mix. Um, Protoss player, let's see here. Protoss player is getting his robo and gateway. Go in three gate robo once again. 
same as the semis. It's a great build against Terran. And as we see, Vic has an unusual hotkey setup. He has four probes hotkeyed. As we see, I don't. There's like there has to be a method for that. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't like it being empty between them. That's my guess. All right, now getting some sentries. Sentries are always good if you're Protoss. They can force field this ramp, prevent enemies from rushing in your base. And he's getting his immortal first. Building more pylons. Check on Terran. Terran has a good army. If he pushed right now, he would win. He'd take out these stalkers with those marauders. He should push right now. He has the perfect opportunity to push. Let's go to the unit counting station. He has a 17 army against pro against Vix 9 army. Now Vic is always no um Easy Cyan is always ahead on his SCV on his supply depots. Now he's getting his factory. I'm not an expert on Terran, but that factory seems probably a tad bit late. I'm a Protoss player myself, so as we see the Protoss player is making a push, and Terran player is gonna move. These armies are going to confront. If only the Terran pushed out sooner. Here we go, where they're going to the watchtower. Oh, and the Protoss player gets his shields up. Where is the stim from Terran? Does he, he doesn't even have stim researched. Oh no. If he had, if he had stim, this would be a much closer. Protoss player's going in. Marauder's on the back. It's good, it's good. Protoss player, the, the, the Marines are dying. The Marines are dying. Oh, and it's not looking good for our Terran player. Cyan needs to get an army up soon. doing. He needs to close this supply depot. There we go. Protoss player has him in lockdown. And there goes the rest of Easy Science Army and it's gonna be GG any minute now. So guys, in the comment section below, put, in the, put some naming suggestions next tournament. I want your suggestions for, for a name. Yeah, so in the comment section, leave a comment and say what, what we should name the next tournament. And we see the Protoss player just ripping. He's going for the add-ons first. That's always a smart idea. And, and Easy Sign calls GG and, and that is game. As you see, with 101 APM. There's a lot of spam in that. So don't spam your APM. 